Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is your instructor Umar Khan and uh, you are watching support and revision series of videos for O Levels Islamiyat 2058. Today's video is from section uh, Life and Importance of Prophet, peace be upon him, which is a very important and vital section for paper one. Uh, most of the times, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, there are two questions from this section, which makes it very important, which means that 28 out of 50 marks of paper one can be scored from this section only. The topic we are going to cover, that is the very first topic of life and importance of profit, which is divided into life in Makkah and Medina. So our today's topic is our early life of profit in Makkah from his birth 570 up until his first revelation, which was 610. This is the lengthiest topic of whole syllabus and standard for my revision videos is ideally 15 minutes and not more than 20 minutes. So wish me luck. I'm going to cover this. I'll try my level best to cover this in 15 minutes or at least maximum 20 minutes. Starting from birth, Prophet peace be upon him was born in 570 and this is also called the year of elephants. Uh, you are not supposed to write down this story. I'm just telling you for the purpose of knowledge that this is the same year in which Abraha, the king of Yemen, tried to attack Makkah because he wanted to destroy the original Kaaba because he had made a replica of Kaaba in the capital of Yemen called Sana'a. So his army was miraculously destroyed by a tiny bird called Ababil and this uh, whole incident is quoted in Quran in Surah Al-Feel. The date of Prophet's birth is disputed, which is 8th, 9th or 12th Rabi level. Whichever you write will be considered correct by Cambridge examination. If we talk about Prophet's family, so Prophet's name was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His father was Abdullah who unfortunately died two months before Prophet's demise and his mother was Hazrat Amna. His paternal grandfather, Dada was Abdul Muttalib. His Dadi was Fatima, Nana was Wahab and Nani was Barra. His paternal clan was Banu Hashim and his maternal clan was Banu Zohra. Some also call it Banu Najjar and that is also fine. Moving forward, he was initially given a name Ahmad by his mother, Hazrat Amna, but later it was changed to a very unique and beautiful name Muhammad by his grandfather and definitely Hazrat Amna did not have any objection. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to talk about Halima Sadia. First of all, we have to discuss that why would Arabs send their kids to wet nurses? Ye culture kya tha? So there were two reasons mainly. The first reason was good health. Zahir Sibata, when they live in suburbs, the, you know, the, the dairy products and all the other food items will be very pure. And the second and main reason was fluency and command over pure Arabic language. Hazrat Halima belonged to Banu Saad and they were literally the best in context of speaking proficiency and fluency and command over qualitative Arabic language. Moving forward, we are going to talk about the story, how she ended up with Prophet. When she reached Makkah, she was late. All the rich kids were already occupied by other wet nurses, but she somehow received Prophet and then she started observing the blessings. Blessings ko elaborate karenge that um, she was riding a, a donkey uh, that had some problem in its leg, which was fixed as soon as she got profit, peace be upon him. And then at uh, her home back in suburbs of Taif, she had financial problems. Her children were not feeling well. Her uh, crops, her farms was totally ruined. Her um, goat and camel, they, they had stopped giving milk and like other problems. But she says, Halima claims that as soon as I received that kid, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, my all problems started getting solved automatically. Okay, Shuru mein, basically Halima Saadiya received Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him just for two years. But uh, when she, uh, when the time of Prophet's return to Makkah, 
get got closer so there was a plague in makkah makkah was going through the pandemic just like we are going through nowadays and hazrat amna extended prophets stay with halima because the kids are very vulnerable to these uh, pandemic diseases so aur halima waise khud bhi chahti bhi nahi thi she wanted ke prophet unke sath aur rahe so prophets stay with halima got extended then we are going to talk about split of chest in which hazrat jibril appeared and he washed prophet's heart with zamzam okay uh, one more thing you know that in 10 marker you have to write down quotations references so i am going to make a bracket whenever a reference or quotation is needed so here you are going to quote the wording of jibril while removing that black clot of blood from prophet's heart he said this is the part of satan in you and halima sadia got scared because she she thought that this was attack on prophet and his life is in danger so she returned him to makkah when prophet peace be upon him came back to makkah he was approximately 6 years old 5 years and like some months less than 6 months 6 uh, year so hazrat amna uh, prophet's mother decided to take him to yasrib the old name of madina at that time prophet peace be upon him was 6 years old he visited his father's grave yes hazrat abdullah died at yasrib and he was buried there while coming back from yasrib and going to makka hazrat amina died at a place called abba this is important name you need to remember and prophet peace be upon him was handed over to his grandfather abdul muttalib abdul muttalib loved him unconditionally he was very attached with prophet prophet peace be upon him was very attached with him once a uh, prophet peace be upon him was playing and he wanted to get up on uh, the specific presidency chair of makka which was specifically dedicated to abdul muttalib when a servant tried to stop prophet abdul muttalib asked servant not to do so and he said something theek hai to wo reference bhi aap yahan pe quote kar sakte hain he said that leave him because this boy i swear by god that this boy will hold a significant position यानी कहने का मकसद देता कि मेरे मेरा पोता मुझसे भी बड़ा लीडर बनेगा अनफॉर्चुनेटली जस्ट आफ्टर टू इयर्स ही आल्सो डाइड एंड एट दैट टाइम प्रॉफिट पीस भी अपॉन हिम वाज एट इयर्स ओल्ड एंड प्रॉफिट पीस भी अपॉन हिम वाज गिवन टू अबू तालिब एज हिज नेक्स्ट कस्टोरी देन प्रॉफिट पीस भी अपॉन हिम ट्रेवल टू सीरिया फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दिस वॉज अ ट्रेड जर्नी ऑफ अबू तालिब एंड प्रॉफिट पीस भी अपॉन हिम इंसिस्टेड अपॉन गोइंग अलॉन्ग विद अबू तालिब they reached the first city of syria busra and they meet with they met with a christian priest called bahira this is a very important part of this answer and we are going to talk about three things what did he observe what did he comment and what was his suggestion his observations were he saw that a cloud was giving shadow to prophet muhammad peace be upon him he said that uh, branches and leaves of trees were giving him shadow and uh, he insisted upon meeting with prophet and according to one narration he also saw the seal of prophethood on the back of prophet's head which was just below his left shoulder blade then his comments yahan pe reference chahiye you need to quote bahira that he said that this is the master of all humans god will send him with a message that will be mercy for all beings and then he suggested to return him to makkah because he um um uh, like his life might be in danger if someone recognizes him and gets jealous so prophet peace be upon him was returned to makkah battle of fujar when prophet peace be upon him was 14 15 or 16 years old according to one book 20 years old to aap jo bhi likhoge wo sahi hoga because that is historical dispute to so cambridge kehta hai when whenever there is a historical dispute about date or name or anything we we consider both or like three or four opinions or whatever so this was a civil war which was fought between prophet's tribe or unke alai kinana and they too were fighting against qais prophet peace be upon him was 15 or 16 years old at that time it was fought in sacred month you know there are four sacred months zulkada zulhijjah muharram and rajab this was the month of zulkada ya zikada kuch bhi pronounce kar sakte hain it was fought in fair of ukaz fair of ukaz was a social gathering a fun fair uh, yearly activity of arab and uh, 
um, his uncles, Prophet's uncles, pressurized him to participate in that battle. But Prophet, peace be upon him, right away refused to shed innocent blood. This was the level of his consciousness that he said that tribal pride is nothing. Tribal pride is not that big issue that compels me to shed innocent blood, to kill someone who has not done anything to me. So still, because he, his uncles were pressurizing him, he said that, okay, I'll be on the battlefield. I will just collect arrows and pass it on, but I will not kill anyone. Okay. After the treaty of, uh, after the battle of Fujar, some sane people came up with the idea of treaty of Fudul, a peace treaty. And uh, the immediate incident that triggered the idea of this treaty was when As bin Wail, a person from Makkah, he uh, traded something and he refused to pay for that. And that trader was from some outside, some other part of Arab. And Zubair bin Abdul Muttalib, Prophet's uncle, he raised his voice and he uh, was the first person who petitioned for this treaty. The gathering took place at Abdullah bin Jadan's place and all these people gathered and they signed a peace treaty. Prophet, peace be upon him, attended it he liked it and he passed comments. So this is a reference that you have to answer. If you write all these references, which I'm pointing out by making this paragraph, there's no way you will score like eight or nine, at least out of 10. Okay. Professions. He worked as a shepherd and he also traded. His reputation was the truthful and the honest because he worked hard and he was the most honest person in entire Makkah. Ha, we talk about interaction uh, of Prophet, peace be upon him, with Khadija. Second journey to Syria, we will talk about Maisara was a trusted slave. His co special instructions were given to Khadija ne that be with Muhammad, observe him, and give me feedback. Here, there is a quotation. Aega. When he came back, he said that this is the most honest person I have ever met in my entire life. Okay, marriage. She sent, she was the one who sent marriage proposal to Prophet. He was 25 years old, she was 40, and this marriage took place. They had six children together two sons, Qasim and Abdullah. Abdullah had two titles because of which some believe that they had four sons. Tahir and Tayyab are uh, titles of Abdullah. Then they had four daughters Zainab, Hazrat Jukaiya, Hazrat Ummah Kulsum, and Hazrat Fatima. Hazrat Khadija supported Prophet, peace be upon him, on social front and financial front. Because she knew, she realized that he's a different human being. He had different ambitions. He always talks about, you know, reforming the society. He always gets upset by the social evils. So he has a mission. If I keep him engaged in uh, financial uh, situations ke bhai wo trade karte rahe and social situations ke aaj khala kya jana hai aaj puppo kya jana hai aaj bachcho ka ye kaam hai so she her maturity was on that level that she realized that he's a different person and he needed that space to fulfill his mission and she gave him that space okay when prophet peace be upon him was 35 years old makkah was hit by a severe flood urban flooding bilkul jis tarah bhi karachi mein hui aur hum doobte doobte bache Okay, fundraising keen logo ne kaage halal paisa jama karte hai aur usse hum log kaaba ki reconstruction karenge. Dispute over fixing of black stone. Ab aapko black stone ka pata hai hajre aswad ka. To unho ne kya kiya construct karne se pehle hajre aswad ko site pe rakh diya. Jab puri building ban gai. Ab sirf black stone ko utha ke uski jaga pe fix kon karega is pe ladai shuru ho gai. And they were very close to a civil war. Kisi achche admi ne suggestion diya bhai kisi ko judge bana lo. So he thought that when the next day, the first person who is going to enter the uh, Grand Mosque of Makkah will be the judge. And Prophet, peace be upon him, was the first person to enter. Here is also a reference. Aega. When they saw Prophet, they were so happy at, as they said, the truthful and honest has come and we are bound to accept his verdict. And then Prophet, peace be upon him, arbitrated. He made a very good decision. He kept a chadar and kept a black stone. Rakha. He called one representative from each tribe and then he uh, asked them to lift it up and kept it with his own hands. So that's how he ended the possibility of a civil war. Then comes period of seclusion when Prophet peace be upon him developed antisocial behavior and he distanced himself from the evils of society. And he started meditating at Kevhera, 
वट वॉज दैट मेडिटेशन अबाउट कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि प्रॉफिट पीस पे पॉन हिम वुड गो देर एंड ऑफर प्रेयर प्रेयर तो अभी रिवील नहीं हुई थी ठीक है सो दिस वॉज बेसिकली अ फोकस्ड मेडिटेशन थिंकिंग अबाउट हिस्स पर्टिकुलर रोल पॉन्डरिंग ओवर द सिचुएशन ऑफ अरेबिया एंड ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट विद दैट गॉड जिसकी डेफिनेशन वॉज अनकलेयर इन द सोसाइटी ऑफ मक्का बिकॉज कोई कहता था हुबल गॉड है कोई कहता था मनात गॉड है कोई कहता था फलाना बुद्ध गॉड है so prophet peace be upon him was trying to connect with that true god and asking his help to support him and tell him that what role prophet muhammad peace be upon him can play to reform his society and finally when he was 40 years old and it was 610 ad and it was the month of ramadan prophet peace be upon him received the first revelation so this was a quick revision video uh about the early life of prophet peace be upon him see you in next video inshallah best of luck for your exams